Welcome back everyone, Dan Vega here, back with another tutorial, and today we are talking all about IntelliJ IDEA. So if you follow me at all, uh, you'll probably know this, but I'm a huge, huge fan of IntelliJ. And if you're doing any type of Java development, Spring Framework, Spring Boot, uh, Groovy, Gradle, anything in that space, you should really take a look at IntelliJ. Now I'll say this, there are distributions for other languages. Um, I know a lot of Python developers who use it. Um, I believe WebStorm is really big for doing web development. I can't personally talk to any of those because I haven't used them as much. But again, in the Java space, there really is nothing better. So I've had this come up in my courses and YouTube videos and even just uh, regular tutorials on my blog before. And people always kind of come back to, yeah, IntelliJ looks great, but it's really, really expensive to use. And in the past, I would completely understand that. But today I want to talk about just how affordable IntelliJ is, and you may not know it. So while there are other languages, I know things like Visual Studio can be really expensive, um, even IntelliJ, probably a couple years ago, I I just wouldn't have bought personally just because I couldn't afford the investment for just, you know, uh, playing around with code on my own time. Now, we do have licenses at work, and that's, you know, three or four years ago, that's really what got me into IntelliJ. Um, but I never really had my own personal copy until about a year, uh, maybe six months ago. So what I want to talk to you about is why this is just so affordable. So... If we go here to the IntelliJ website and we go over to buy and we go ahead and look at this. So, you know, there is a community edition, which is free, but the ultimate edition, which has like all of the different features is really what we want to look at. Right. So there are two different versions. There's ultimate and then there's the community. So, again, you can get community for free. And if you go over to the download, you'll see community here in Ultimate. Um, you'll see that it has basic support for things like Java and Maven and Git. But what we really get into is um, Spring Development, other frameworks, Rails. That's all in the Ultimate Edition, and that's really what we want. So if we go over to Buy and we look at business and organizations, we know this is kind of expensive here, but again, for a business, it's really not what we're really talking about is individual customers. And so if you look at this price, 149 for the first year really isn't that bad. And that is that seems pretty affordable. I mean, I remember back, you know, when when again they wanted 3 or 4 3 4 or 500 dollars for an individual to plop down and that just wasn't doable. But here's where the fun comes in. There's actually a way to pay monthly now. And so there you go, $14.90 a month. Now that is completely affordable for anyone. And the really great thing about this is you have no contract. So if you sign up for a month and you don't like it, then you can get rid of it. And this also comes with any updates. So if you're on a monthly subscription and they come out with a new version, you automatically get that. So I think this is a really great option and it makes IntelliJ uh, uh, basically affordable to anyone who wants to have it so I think this is really great um, and then if we go into this other section here so discounted and complimentary licenses so if you're a startup you can get it for 50% off if you're in some type of education and training you can actually get it for free students and teachers for free open source projects so if you can tell them or show them that hey i have a specific open source project that is helping the community they will actually give you a free version of the software so that's really cool they're kind of giving back to open source developers there um, for competitive tool users student graduation discounts and if you are a java champion you can get this for free as well finally there's an extended trial if you have a team that wants to get on intellij you can actually get them to extend the trial for 90 days. So I think this is pretty good too. So I really wanted to point out this monthly option because it came up in an Ask Me Anything question earlier. 
And it's just it's just crazy that people people don't know that this is actually an option. Whenever somebody tells them to check out IntelliJ, their first thing in their head is to go to, well, I can't afford three to five hundred dollars for my personal copy. So I just wanted to make this video to make sure that you guys knew that it was available. I'm not getting paid for this at all. Uh, there is no referral for, fee for me. I, I'm just a huge fan of IntelliJ and I, I, I wanna make sure that people know about this and they're using one of, one of my favorite tools that I use. So uh, I hope that helped. Give me that thumbs up, subscribe to the video and I will talk to you guys later.